Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, and if it's your first time here, welcome for the first time. Uh, my name is Chris, and if you don't know this about me, I am a huge Lego fan. And I've really always been one. Since I was a kid, I remember the top of every Christmas list was always the newest Harry Potter Lego set. And yeah, I was just really addicted to building things with my hands and like seeing like a, a bunch of small seemingly random pieces come together to create this like really cool display piece. And it may or may not have uh, played a part in me ultimately going to college to become an engineer and now uh, starting to starting my career as an engineer. But anyways, fast forward like a decade later and I'm still a really big Lego fan. Um, and I was going to school in California and I had a bunch of Lego sets in my in my room and I realized I had to take all of these apart and uh, disassemble them and in order to bring them back to my home here in New York uh, and as I was taking apart the pieces and uh, reminiscing about all the cool uh, experiences I had building these uh, building these pieces I realized huh you know life is kind of like a Lego set. And so, I know it's gonna sound a little philosophical or whatever, like I'm reaching, but just just hear me out, let me explain. So, I'm gonna talk about it. I, I am now building one of those said pieces, uh, rebuilding, so I have my instruction booklet here. But, let me tell you about it. You see, life is a lot like a Lego set. Except uh, if when you got your Lego set, there were no instructions in the in the box, and you kind of just had the image to go off of. And they also like throw in a bunch of random pieces to like throw you off in the middle of your your building experience. But, but, but <laughs> let me let me get back to it. Um, so initially, we're buying a Lego set. Uh, yeah, because it's a cool display set, right? It's like a cool piece that you want to display and show off, right? That is why we initially get a Lego set. And that's a lot like our goals in life, right? When we initially set out to do something, it's because we have a, a big ambitious goal that we can envision at the end of it all and be proud of that we did. But similar to a Lego set, um, what we realize is that's not, the full extent of why we're getting these things, right? If that were the case, we'd just get like a display piece in general that you could just like take out of the box and put up immediately. While we're really, what, what we're really getting a Lego set for is for the experience and the process of building, right? As we open the box and pour out all the pieces and start fitting them, these bricks together, we realized that the, the most fun part of all of this was the process. As we build the Lego set, we realized the real fun part of it is like understanding these techniques that we use to like actually erect this cool piece that we can ultimately be proud of. It's, it's the steps and technique, it's the steps and techniques that we learn along the way to put this cool thing together. Like when you first pour out these pieces, it's seemingly random, right? You, you see a bunch of pieces and you can't really envision everything. You don't know which pieces are going where. And this is why I say life is more like a Lego set without the instructions, because in life, you're not given an instruction manual. Yeah, you can see how other people have done things and take inspiration, but it will never be a one-to-one -one manual on how you go about living life. A lot of life is figuring out the instruction booklet yourself and uh, kind of seeing which tactics come together to ultimately reach the end goal, or in this case, the, the final product, your final Lego product. But yeah, when you're opening a box of Legos, it might not always be readily apparent uh, why there are so many pieces. But as you start to put more of these pieces together, you kind of understand what's going where, why this was included, and why like these, seeming, these seemingly like 
thrown curveballs of Lego pieces were put in the set actually have their own vital purpose and reason for being there. Uh, just like in life when things happen to you, uh, it might not always make sense why these are well, why things are happening, right? It's not always going to be apparent which direction you're going um, until you finally get to a place and you look back and you understand, oh, everything has a reason. This is why this happened to me. It helped me learn. It helped me grow. It helped me understand mistakes and how not to repeat them, right? Are you, are you kind of seeing the parallel I'm talking about now? Another thing, I don't know if this happens to you when you're building Lego sets, but I mess up quite a bit. Um, either I miss a step or I'm, I'm going too fast, I forget to put a piece in, and then I get to the end and I'm like, have extra pieces that should definitely be in, in the Lego set. I'm like, huh, I guess I have to rework a couple things. And like in life, um, in order to move forward, sometimes we have to look back, reflect, and even redo parts that we've already completed in order to get to a space that is uh, further ahead than what we were at earlier. Um, so as you're building a Lego set, you're not always gonna nail it the first time. You're, you're gonna have to redo steps, you're gonna have to flip back pages and, and find out where the pieces fit, and it's okay because eventually you know that the end goal uh, will pay off for all of it. And when you mess up, uh, you might you might want to quit, right? But then you'd just be wasting your money. You spent all this money on this Lego set, and then you're you're just gonna quit. That's not that's not ideal, right? And when you mess up, I know when I'm building Lego sets, uh, a lot of times I'll take a little break uh, from building, um, get my mind on something else so I'm not completely focused on the one thing. And those are necessary moments. These breaks are necessary to eventually building the final thing because if you were to spend hours and hours and hours just grinding this one thing, you'd probably lose your mind. So that's another thing in life. It's important to realize that breaks are actually necessary for progress and a lot of people don't realize that if they're really like tuned in on one thing and that's all like they're they're headstrong towards um it could sometimes be harmful and actually work against uh the final process because you kind of get caught in this mind space um kind of prohibiting yourself from moving forward and i think especially with building a lego set uh you need to take time and understand that it doesn't always have to be done in one fell swoop um, you could take breaks and those are healthy and necessary. Uh, just like in life, uh, we might, uh, become frustrated that things aren't going our way or that we keep messing up. Um, but it's okay. We can, we can put it down and come back to the progress that we've already built at a later time. And it's not like you're losing too much, right? You, you can still come back to what you've been building and to what you've already accomplished. Um, and it's necessary to take breaks. It's uh, important uh, to, to maybe reset sometimes and uh, step away from your ultimate uh, goals in life. Another parallel you realize when you're building a Lego set is that sometimes it's a lot harder to find a piece um, than it is to find another piece. And that doesn't mean that the piece isn't in front of you and it's not there, right? It just means that it takes a little more attention, a little more time and a little more effort to find that piece. And just like in life, uh, some things will be easier to do and some things will be way more difficult. Uh, but it doesn't mean that the path isn't still ahead of you, that the path isn't clear and the path isn't readily available. It just means that you have to spend a little more time with these moments, a little more effort um, in order to go forward. And then, yeah, obviously the big one for Lego sets is that life is about building block. It's about putting down pieces, building a foundation and gradually bringing in more and more different pieces to make a more holistic 
uh, holistic vision, right? Um, it's about taking things that are seemingly random um, and kind of placing them together in a way that makes this beautiful mix into uh, eventually a really cool uh, product and goal in the end. Um, so it's important that we understand that even the smallest of pieces will be important uh, towards creating this final goal. So it's really important to spend as much time finding the smaller pieces um, as it is putting these bigger pieces together in life. Um, yeah, the, some may seem more important than, than the others, but when you're building towards your final goals, uh, the smaller parts matter just as much. And as you spend more and more time with the Lego set, you, you kind of see it coming together, right? Um, and you get more excited, but obviously it's not done until you put the final pieces together. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's probably a bunch more parallels you can make between life and a Lego set, but those are the ones that... Uh, that kind of were calling out to me as I was unpacking my unpacking my college apartment and kind of taking these these pieces apart from each other. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> as you continue to build the own pieces of your life, uh, just remember the lessons of a Lego set that the most impressive pieces take time, and that it doesn't all come together immediately when you get that box. Um, there will be a lot of mistakes that you make, but that doesn't mean you should give up on making your final product, your masterpiece. Um, but instead, take time to give attention to where you're messing up, um, look back on these steps, and, and just understand that the process is the really fun part of it. Um, and make sure to always have fun while you're doing it. Uh, but yeah, um, that's, I guess, all I have to say. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. Uh, if you like hearing me yap, I do this a lot, uh, subscribe. You'll, you'll keep hearing me yap. Um, yeah, this, this video wasn't sponsored by Lego, by the way. Um, I wish. Uh, Lego, I'm open to sponsorships. I love your products. I, I clearly build them a lot. But yeah, that's it for now. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And for all you guys that were just curious about seeing the final product, I just finished. Take a look. <laughs>